Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to pop in and tell you about what's going on in the stars right now. I'm Adrian Elise. We are in the middle of eclipses and it is getting really weird. And so just know that we're getting on the edge of moving into all this Pisces energy. And tomorrow on the 10th on Saturday, Venus will move into Pisces and uh, we are also feeling it's beginning to feel this eclipse energy. We're just moving right into the solar eclipse and it's just before the sun will move into Pisces on the 17th, a couple days after this eclipse. And so what's going on right now is that we have got the sun squaring up with Jupiter. Now we just had Venus squaring up with Jupiter and Jupiter in Scorpio has is starting to slow down. It's getting ready to take its retrograde. And so Jupiter has been cruising through these degrees of Scorpio, kind of shining the light, digging out the tunnel of darkness, of shadow, of opening uh, kind of the wreckage, <laughs> illuminating the wreckage. Um, and then now we have to go back through the rubble. So we're kind we're already feeling this Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio energy. And so the sun is squaring up with Jupiter. Venus just, we're just feeling Venus come off of that square and heading into the Pisces. And now the sun is squaring Jupiter and heading into Pisces. So the sun is our identity. It's also our true authentic self. And so we are looking at the shadows that are in the way and Venus just making the square and then the sun, they've been close for many weeks and um, they work together very close for that last lunar eclipse. So Venus is what we really care about, what we really want, our deepest desires, what makes us happy. And the sun is kind of who we think we are, but also kind of our identity in, in, in a deeper sense. And so we are looking at the shadows, the energy that's in Scorpio, that's in the way of being our authentic self, of who we really want to be in the world. Venus is like, what do you really want? Scorpio has that energy too. Scorpio is, and, and Jupiter brings light and expansion to whatever it touches. So in Scorpio, it's like, what's the truth? What do you really want? What, how does your life, like, where do you reclaim the passion of what you really care about, what you really want to stand up for in your life? And so Jupiter's kind of like in this weird place of getting ready for its retrograde and in going into it's in the shadow period. And then we've got this, you know, just had Venus and then the sun squaring up with it and asking us, <clears throat> where do we need to reevaluate our life? What's hidden underneath in the corners, in the dust piles that's keeping us from living that real life we want to live. Now, Venus moving into Pisces this weekend is going to bring a little dreamy feel. It's nice. Venus and Pisces. Um, it allows us to dream and vision and see what we really want. But we're also looking at a whole bunch of delusion energy because we've got all these truth factors coming together with the sun and Mercury coming together for this eclipse. And we've got Juno there. The uh, Juno is an asteroid that rules committed partnerships. And this can be any type of committed partnership. It's where you signed a contract to work together or maybe contracts from past lives, but it's like deep soulmate teams. So these are, we're finding information, we're meeting our soul team, or maybe we're dissolving contractual arrangements based on the information that's coming through right now. And with all this energy in Aquarius right now for this eclipse, Aquarius rules information, insight from higher sources. And so a lot of stuff with that sun and Mercury coming together. <clears throat> so Mercury also makes a square with Jupiter and before all these planets move into Pisces. And so Pisces with Venus and Pisces now, Venus is kind of like reaching out for that dream and visioning and, and, um, but also with the Pisces energy, we have to watch the delusions and getting lost. And this is the energy. Pisces are the most psychic, intuitive people. But a lot of times when I look at their chart, they have some energy of past life fear around actually actualizing this intuitive knowledge. And can you trust it? It's so pure and clean that you can't trust it. And this is this weird energy with Pisces that we're feeling as we move into it right now. Now that's because we're starting to feel Merc uh, Mars, our warrior planet, come into a square with Neptune and Pisces. And so the warrior is saying, come on, 
you know, like what's true, what's real? How can we find that authentic life? How can we live a life of passion that really matters to us, start really living if we can't trust our connection to source if we can't trust the information so this is a really strange time eclipses are like timeline resets and the time in between eclipses is like really weird but you can use that to your advantage to actually jump onto your more appropriate timeline so using this upcoming Pisces energy as a way to connect to that Venus and Pisces, what really matters to you, and align yourself with that. To just kind of step onto that timeline that is in alignment with that deeper true passion that Jupiter in Scorpio wants us to find underneath the rubble, underneath the stories of trauma, underneath all of the stuff we carry for our ancestry, for our family line. It's like, no, we want to live. We want to really live an authentic life. And that's what the stars are trying to help us do right now. So incredible information coming in about all of this stuff for this new moon solar eclipse. And I hope you can join me for this live activation. It's a group session. We look at shared past lives. You can submit your questions to me ahead of time, or you can submit them at in the chat at the event. But what even if you can't make the live event, you can get into the energy by setting your intention, and those channeled messages will come through in the way you need it. I did this last time for the first time online for the lunar eclipse, and people got a full the effect of a full session because I worked with them clients later that week and they were still kind of feeling the effects and it was clear in their energetic field so this is a deal for twenty dollars you can get on and get a full intuitive session basically and get the support get hooked into that soul team get hooked into your guidance and get in alignment with that life you really want to live this is the time for us to stand up the stars are aligning for us and it's strange but that's because the weirdness is about making the adjustments we need to make to live an authentic life that's true to our true ideals, our true values. And so this is what we're, the information coming in around the solar eclipse is about. I hope you have a wonderful solar eclipse that happens on Thursday. The live activation is Tuesday evening, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and you can sign up. I put the information here where you can sign up. So I look forward to seeing you until next time. I'm Adrienne Elise. Namaste.